Hi there. In this video I intend to build or show you how I built a 24 volt battery from six lithium discarded vape lithium cells. These cells are from one of these type of things, an Elux legend, which I believe is illegal in this country as it's 3,500 puffs and the maximum we are supposed to have is 600. There is a website that say that this is the 8th most popular vape in this country, even though it's a bit illegal. If we open it up, I've already taken the end out on a vice because there's no way I could open it up otherwise and I'm not too sure I'm going to open this up. Oh, there we got it. And there is the device that uh, controls it, the switch that controls it. Once again, as usual, it's a three wire design. Uh, the blue wire just goes to the heater uh, and if we take it out it shows us upside down and on for the pot it says it's a 1500 milliamp hour cell so they're quite large cells in terms of capacity most of your vapes are going to be a lot smaller cell here's one I found the other day these, of course, are all discarded cells that I've picked up on my walk. This one, in fact, though, has a circuit board on the end. Looks like it might have a protection circuit on it, but it doesn't. But this one's only a 400 milliamp hour, as opposed to these things. These here have come out about 1300, 1400 milliamp hours. So they are about, what? Four fours would be 16, they're almost three and a half times the size of one of these little ones. How are they arranged? Well, to make the battery, I put one positive at that end, negative at this end, positive at that end, negative at that end, positive at that end, and negative at that, this end. And at this stage, I must say, I'm not very happy about it. These things contain quite a lot of energy. And if something like this was to go up in smoke, then I'd certainly know about it. However, I've been fortunate so far and not had any problems with these cells. So how do I wire it? Well, as you can see at the back here, what I have, well, difficult to see, but I've used the nut, the... <coughs> try again. I've got this that hold the wrong way round, haven't I, compared to the ones above. So we'll turn them all round so that they're in the same directions as the ones that I've wired. So it makes it easier to see what's going on. I always wrap these cells in this tape. Is it captain tape or something? The sort of stuff that uh, they come wrapped in anyway once the cells are in the vapes they've got quite a lot of this stuff around them to protect them and stop them shorting out the wires on the vapes are most interesting because they're very thin wires and i would like to know where i can get some from but i haven't sussed that out yet however let's have a look at this then so i've tried to get these in the same order as those are and so I've connected note volts to the top here and then I've joined these two together. I've used a yellow wire to make it easier to see what's going on. I've then connected the two tops together and this, because this is a single cell, the yellow wire then connects to the bottom of here. So note to the yellow wire is about 4 volts. And that goes to the top of this board here. The other, where I'm at, I've got my yellow at the top then, I connect the twos two together with an orange wire. And then we come back to the other end here, where I've connected these two together with a purple wire. 
and then back to the top where I've used an we used a what? Can't tell at the moment. Can we see, if we're careful, a white wire? Yeah. So I've got a white wire across the top there. And then finally at this end, I've got the red wire coming out. Normally I wouldn't leave all these contacts bare like this because it's just asking for trouble, asking for a disaster. Uh, and then I've connected them onto this board so if I get rid of these hopefully oops drag that over we can see this board now this board is a fairly old board they don't seem to sell them with the I assume these are four fets on them anymore they just seem to have three this one is supposed to be a 15 amp board uh, so the new 15 amp boards just seem to have three FETs on them. This is quite old. Now when we look at this board what we find is we've got to be careful here because it's got a B- minus there. So that is the black wire from the top of that battery goes onto there. We've then got a B1 here uh, which it says is 4.2 volts. So that comes, this is the yellow wire that connects these two together and comes onto there. From there we have the 8.4 volts which is this orange wire which connects these two at the top. We then have 12.6 uh, volts which is the purple wire which connects these two cells together. Notice one's positive and one's negative and I mustn't connect the two at the top so these two are the purple aren't they I mustn't connect those two and the two at the top because that would give me a short circuit and a certain fire so this is a dangerous occupation anyway so where are we we've got the white wire from these two at the top which comes in here and it tells me is 16.8 volts I've then got down at the bottom here the blue wire which comes in over here which it says is 21 volts so it's assuming all these are fully charged at 4.2 volts and finally finally uh, yeah we've got the 21 volts there finally we have the red wire which is coming in from the top here into there and that is the positive and that's what gives me my 24.2 volts or whatever. We have two outputs on this. We have the P minus which of course is the 0 volts and the P plus which is the 24 volts. So as I say like this it's horrendously dangerous and we need to be very careful. What can I do with this board? Well to see what's going on. I've set up myself this set of six uh, meters. I've tried to set these so that they're within about a few hundredths of an amp of each other. So I connect the negative onto there. The next one is the 4.2 which I've set up as yellow. And that can connect onto there. And once I've done that, this meter then, want to cry, don't I? Come on, you can do it there. This meter then says I've got 4.10 volts on that one. The next one I have to set up is the orange, so I can set that onto there. Can I? There. And that says I've got 4.06 volts. Unfortunately, it's flickering a little bit. Let's try the purple, the purple wire, and connect that on. That says I've got 4.06 volts. Next one's going to be the white, which should be the 16.8. But remember, all I'm looking at here is the individual cells, not the total voltage as I come through and that's white volts seem to have a problem 
that one doesn't seem for some reason to be working I've got the wrong one haven't I what I'm looking for is the white wire these have all tidied tangled up uh, see if I can untangle them and put the white wire then onto there in which case we get that one lighting the next one's the blue which is supposed to be the 21 volts so I can stick that onto there and we can stick the last one the positive onto that one this shows me then that I've got quite a lot of different voltages across my cells some of it might come from the fact that these aren't quite set up to within a, a few hundredths of a volt so we've only about four hundredths difference between these three less with that one a bit more with this so that and that gives me five hundredths but this cell at this end seems to be have about 0.11 of a volt difference as I say I've tried to check these so they're within a few hundredths of a volt very inaccurate but uh, gives us some sort of idea of what's going on what we can do is to look at our output so if I connect a meter making sure I get this the right way around because I could have some big bangs if I get it wrong connect that into there and that says I've got 24.1 volts coming out I now want to put some load onto this what sort of load can I put on well what I've got is a couple of light bulbs out of a car 12 volts 21 watts arranged in series so that they're 24 volts and if I plug them in I get a very bright light they're going to get quite hot so I need to try to make sure uh, I keep them out of the way so I've got a hundred and seventy what one point one point what one point seven one thousand seven hundred milliamps going through there that's well over an amp one and a half amps at 24 volts is going to be something like is that right 36 watts so that's quite a lot of power going if I try two more probably melt the table let's see if we can put some more in I'm using very thin wires here uh, try to make sure when nothing makes contact very thin wires but I'm only going to do it for a short period of time so there we've got 3.3 uh, 3 amps going out the voltages come down oh it's interesting the ones that are flashing sorry I can't do anything about that it's certainly uh, doing the camera in isn't it but there we have it it's coming down the voltages are dropping quite considerably taking 3 amps out of it but yes it will definitely drive it of course if I take the load off then the voltages will start to zoom back up uh, but they've certainly been hit quite a lot and come down quite a lot so there we have it using discarded vape cells to light a 3 amp 24 volts obviously that isn't going to drive drive what very much 3 amps it's quite a lot of watts but we need a lot of watts so my voltages are gradually climbing back the other thing we need to know about of course is charging can we charge it well yes we can here's a photo I did earlier of a charging so instead of discharging it I am putting a voltage into this I put 24.6 volts in and it's given me 310 milliamps into the devices 
these cells are almost charged so at 2313 those with the voltages you'll notice this once again this cell at this end seems to be a lot stronger than the rest and could be a problem in terms of charging because if we charge it we go through the times we get uh, 24.38 after a couple of minutes uh, up to about 27 24.7 volts and 400 milliamp after another minute and it's still charging here at about 38 at 24.7 and finally it cuts off and when it cuts off I assume it's because this cell has reached the 4.2 something or other it was about 4.2 on here but you can't see it because of course it's flashing at me Got uh, the camera wouldn't catch that digit so it went up to about oh, over 4.2 volts and then it cut out but you'll notice that the other cells then 4.07, 4.1, 4.8, 4.8 .4 and 4.1 so this cell I think determined when this stopped charging which means that this doesn't seem to have any balanced charging on it so this cell is going to dictate the charging rate and probably this one the discharge rate so there we have it uh, that's my battery 24 volt battery built from six discarded lithium cells right then so I must remember to put in the thing that this does show flashing images which might be a problem for some people ah it's been an interesting sort of thing have to decide what to do with it especially making it safe by covering it in is it capped on tape or whatever all the bits so that it can't short out as I say I think it's very dangerous and I am very careful when I'm doing it Anyway, there it is, so it's bye now. Bye.